Good morning guys, welcome back to today's video. Today, it's supposed to be a heat wave. This would be like the perfect time to cut hay, but it's supposed to rain tomorrow. It is so hot out here, it feels like summer. So cold inside, that's my only thing I hate about, the only thing I hate about summer is that you have the air conditioning on and it's freezing, you have to come outside all the time just to get warm. Door! Oh, hello, pretty girl. How are you? I got. Mm. Why does she have they a bear? Speak that language. <laughs> Why does she have a bear backpack on? Well, I want to ride her bear back down the trail, so I gotta practice. Even if I just walked. The fits are pretty good. I know. We gotta rescue those birds. No, there's a hole. Oh, and they. On the other side. And the mom can get to them. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's baby birds. <laughs> She's trying to eat the the goat milk. She's cute and red. <laughs> She looks cute in every color. Ladybugs are red and black. Ladybug. So you guys gave us so many amazing names. But I stuck with my name. But she stuck with her name. That's Ladybug. Fine. She's like, I really want that milk, Laura. Okay, now you got her excited. Today I'm gonna try and lunge her. I don't think she knows. You don't think she knows how to lunge? I mean Willow didn't or honey and they lunch for people fine. Yeah. But and then I'm gonna do that. And then you're gonna do bareback. So Sophie hasn't ridden her in the last couple of days. She's been having a break. She's been having a break and she's been getting in with the herd. Like I said, Sam thinks it's time to put Storm in with them and I think so too. What do you think about that? I think they're happy how they are. Apparently. I think they're happy how they are too. You're sweaty. If I want them to be together though, then I have to put Storm. Stands. Look how good she is. I know she stands. This horse just stands. Like you can do whatever you want. This is the horse I needed. She just stands. Sophie spraying her with tons of bug spray. <laughs> That's a lot of bug spray. She's like, yeah, it's fine. Like, look at this horse. Look at her eyeballs. How happy she just looks. She's inquisitive right now. That might not be the look of happy. That might be the look of inquisitive. She really wants to know if I'm going to be giving her this, this milk. All right. Sophie keeps all her stuff down here. Yeah, I do. It's for her, not you. No. <laughs> One mint. Only because you're a princess. You're such a good girl. Somebody asked if Sophie's going to let her forelock grow back. She is. Everyone I know says that she is such a pretty horse. They all call her pretty. Like they all say pretty. That's the word to describe her. So I'll, I think you should call her pretty lady. Well, that's what I call her when I ride her. Pretty lady. That's what you are. See, look at those eyeballs. Um, She's just so oh, cute. I'm going to need this. Bareback and bitless. My camera's having problems today. Bareback and bitless. So Bareback and bitless. Oh my gosh. Hold this. But Sophie's really into this, man. Like, she misses having a riding horse at home. She used to be like this with Finn, like wanting to go out and ride all the time. Okay, wait. Hold this. But it's been a long time since she's had a horse at home. You are in the wrong area. Back up, back up, back up. Nope. <laughs> You're the wrong way. So, one of the problems with the pig being out here. <laughs> <laughs> is that she we always forget and leave this door open no i'm coming out there so it's okay with me. she yeah i'm going this way i'll meet you down there i thought sophie was going down to the round ring to lunge lady i don't know why it's too small <laughs> but anyways so uh can barely even move so i was gonna go yeah i was gonna go and feed this bottle baby goat and <laughs> and watch her but she's gonna do it up here so i'm gonna go and stay with her because i definitely don't like to leave the girls alone riding oh i know you would do it sorry my hands are like yeah, I know. oh full hold on but i'm going down the other field there because it's like a flatter surface okay all right i'll ride around this field oh all right. <laughs> She's so excited. She's like, let's go. Seems like she does know what she's doing because Sophie literally just stood in the middle and she started moving out already. I can tell she is starting to gain her weight back again. 
She didn't lose a ton of weight when she came here, but she lost a little bit. One thing about her that's weird, what? Yeah, she knows how to lunge. One thing that's really weird is that she walks weird going downhill. It's true though, she always goes down hills really funny. And I mean, uh, most horses do go downhill a little bit funny, but she literally looks way different. Like she exaggerates every motion. Anyway, do you guys remember? I don't know if I showed you guys. I got this for Christmas, this little uh, bag. It's so cute. It's just like a fanny pack. And I am loving it this summer. I didn't use it in the winter, like with my winter coat and stuff. Oh, I've been putting my phone in it. We'll take her with you. No, that's too difficult. Today's a bear. A, she wants to ride. Look at you sprayed her, and she still bugs. They're still biting her. Is that the good stuff that you make, or no? I bought it. So it's the bad stuff. Do you find the good stuff that? Do you find the stuff I make better? Yes. Oh well, I have some handy dandy stuff I made. <laughs> if you want to use that. Can you go grab me her lead rope? Sure. Anyway, I'm trying to get better at making short videos. I actually don't love editing riding videos, like lesson videos especially. So I'm hoping that uh, making my riding videos into short videos will be so much easier for me. I'll be able to post more of them. All right, her lead rope she wants. Aw, what a good girl. I've noticed that she sticks around where her blankets are. Sorry, I touched it on the ground. Oh, shoot. I noticed that she stays around where her blanket is, which is so good. It's kind of where I wanted her to do. And at the end of the summer, she'll have a friend. Oh, <laughs> she also sticks around me if she sees me. You can't come over here. Can she go through the gate? How do you think she ends up over here? Yep, she can. <laughs> Here. So I have a bunch of recipes for, are you doing it in here? Yeah. I have a bunch of recipes for fly spray. Don't eat her stuff. Lee, don't you even think about it. Where's my dog? At least one thing never changes. <laughs> She's swimming. <laughs> you are funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. We need to clean that out and fill it up. I know. You're a swimming dog, aren't you? <laughs> What's she scared of? The flag. Oh, the flag. So. <laughs> trying to say is that oh my gosh now she's in that pool now Ellie's over there with the pig in that pool the pig's in the pool too she's half in the pool this is the best life for a little dog that likes to swim when I first got my flags a bunch of you guys and a bunch of you guys and a good friend um, suggested that I get this flag and these flags and so I asked for this flag for Christmas one year and my girls who are total English riders were like and I know you can use flags in English too were like I would never use that like my horse doesn't need that that's not my thing and then slowly over time Sophie really has come to this way like my journey in horses going bitless and getting a gated horse and getting the flag and and learning a lot about positive reinforcement training and that kind of stuff his even though my kids are hardcore English and old school don't believe in treats and that's how they were trained well, even I though yeah you do believe in treats but now they now they do Gabby not as much but Sophie's really come like a long way our journey's kind of merged and now she's a combination of what she's learned and a combination of what I've learned and that's what's so great about the horse community <laughs> she's a funny girl is that everyone shares their knowledge 
because we all learn differently. Like with Chino, we, he taught us so much and Storm has taught us so much. Like all of our horses have taught us so much. We have so much more to learn, but it's amazing that everyone shares the information that they've learned from the amazing horses in their lives. This is what's happening under my feet, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> Yeah, not even flinching with that noise. She's a nice horse. Oh, look. She's grooming Ellie. Or she's trying to eat her. Look at, do you guys remember when they were like the same size? Now Ellie is like tiny compared to her. Because she has a little heart on her bum. Do you guys see it, that little black heart? <laughs> She's like, do you remember me, friend? I've been locked out of the house for days now. I hope that they're best friends forever, though. Posey does not know how to play the way the dogs play. The only reason I can't bring the other pig here now is because I can't keep Posey out of some of the fields. So that means that she could get pregnant and she's way too young. And we all know my track record on keeping boys away from girls. Oops, <laughs> she put a cone on her head. <laughs> Aw, Posey clearly knows how to enjoy the shade. what's happening here but I love that all of our animals are good together they're like free meat is it dead <laughs> the chicken want to eat her I think I feel like some of you guys are hiding your eggs some of the new beginner layers this morning I was thinking about how amazing this farm is oh I found a chicken bowl I found a feed pan. I need another one of those. I'm going to clean that and then put it in the goat barn. Anyways, this morning I was thinking about how amazing this farm is set up for us. We have like a shelter for our chickens. That is so handy. Like they hang around here, especially it's hot today and in the shade. It's beautiful though. And they can, they have a, sh they have this shelter that's perfect for them. All of our horses have multiple shelters. Plus they can all go into the barn, which I love. <laughs> She is not leaving my side, you guys. And then we have such a nice shelter for our goats. We have two night, like we have a two shelters that are goats. The boys have like a run in that they can go into the barn and stay cool. And then the girls have that big shelter outside. Like this barn is set up so good for our horse or for our, all of our animals. What's wrong? Look, she can jump. Come on, Posey. Come on. You can do it. It's like storm. We need to fill that. Aw, she's kissing Ellie. <laughs> Come on, let's play. So our bucks, well our boys, they are eating the grass down. They're doing actually a pretty good job. The girls don't eat the grass, so I might end up changing them when this grass is all gone. I might put the boys over on the other side. Listen, can you hear it? That's the baby calling my name. Hi, ladies. Oh, hello, baby girl. Don't touch the camera. Hey, hey. Blossom. Hey. Blossom.
Listen, stop breaking my camera. You guys are trouble. I don't know if she's eating. She's peeing good. She's pooping good. But I don't know if she's eating like a lot of hay. The last, yesterday and then today, she's definitely been eating more hay. Or yesterday she ate a lot more hay. I actually sat down here and watched her eat hay, but today she's starving again. So like yesterday she didn't drink as much milk. Come on, I put hay all over the place for her. Hide it so that she can find it. She's like, I'll be friends with you. Everybody's peeing. They're like, Laura's here, let's pee. Is Storm being good to you? Come on, come on, come on, Ellie. It's like our life is a three ring circus. It's like my life is a three ring circus, you guys. I'm like go constantly going from the chickens to the horses to the goats. From the goats to the horses to the chickens. Like over and over and over. I haven't even checked the chickens yet. And I'm constantly trying to figure out better ways to run this place. So right now the pig is kind of in, in transition. The goat barn is the safest place for her because when she goes out in the morning and she's out with the goats I feel confident that she'll be okay she knows how to get away from them she knows who's mean who's not and I really want to put her in the horse barn at night like I want to lock her in the middle part of the horse barn I could put her blankets in there I can just leave her in there locked in there but the problem is, is that I don't trust the horses around her yet even though when she's running through their field and stuff they kind of leave they pretty much leave her alone and she leaves them alone when there's food involved and she's like in the middle of the night thinking that she wants to eat because pigs like to do that then you can see her going in where Penny is and where the Gracie and Honey are and trying to like find any leftover food that they have and that makes me nervous so for right now she's stuck with the goats. Sophie's gonna ride bareback now I'm excited to watch her. This is my ever-loving friend. Once upon a time I had a little Yorkie that followed me everywhere and now I have a piggy that follows me everywhere too. At least until August when she gets a friend. <laughs> She's a bouncy girl. ride a lot of walk trot uh, up and down our hills here to kind of build up her muscles help her build up her back end and just strengthen her for the kind of riding that she wants to do before she starts jumping she has jumped her and she's doing good with jumping so we did today but she wanted to try bitless and she wanted to try bareback and she did great and once Sophie like let her have the reins completely she just let go of the reins and went around she like lowered her head a little and starting to relax so she used to start doing exercises and relaxation that's a big thing because carriage horses carry their head up so high so she needs to learn like to use her body differently she, says, she thinks that she's gonna ride bareback every time well i need my muscle back i lost it off yeah because you had the winter off yeah and your body's different this year too so anyway well, yeah, so she's super sweaty just from doing a little bit of walk trot and going around. She did a little lunge today. I think that's a really good day of starting to get her into shape. Find something. 